This is Dr. A10. Time is 8.58 p.m. currently. I am a resident psychiatrist at the Pioneer Medical Center in the town of Green River, Massachusetts. I've decided to start this audio journal in order to document my more interesting findings in the world of psychiatric research. After working a few years in Boston, I decided to complete the remainder of my training in a small town away from the noise of the city, somewhere closer to my real calling. I will later elaborate on what I mean specifically by that. Earlier this evening, I was in my office finishing up some paperwork when I overheard the attending physician, Dr. Sutherland, talking about a patient that arrived earlier in the day. Apparently, the patient was found outside nearby an old church in the neighboring town of Red Falls. I detected in Dr. Sutherland's voice something more than concern. I'm not sure what, but something sounded unusual in the way he was talking about the patient. Red Falls. I've heard about this town mentioned among other staff members off and on since I arrived here a few months ago. I'll have to do some research on it later. The patient that I had mentioned earlier was assigned to me for assessment once he wakes up. How strange. Dr. Sutherland provided me some more information. Patient name is Benjamin. He was reported unconscious a week ago and has been in a coma since. No other information other than he was out in the woods, far near some old church. Hmm. I will also look into this later. Take note, church in Red Falls. Dr. Sutherland's distress was apparent and I was nearly compelled to dig deeper. I didn't, however. I'm sure I'll be able to piece more information together soon enough. I had a chance to observe the patient about an hour ago. Something's definitely looking amiss. Dr. King from Neuroscience was also present. The patient was prepped and hooked up to an EEG. We monitored the patient for five subsequent hours. Approximately every 85 minutes, we noticed spikes in brainwave activity, indicating a heightened state of mind. Heart rate increase, breathing also began to increase at an accelerated pace. REM, rapid eye movements, were observed. Within five minutes after these episodes, brain activity then slowly returns to previous levels. Normal for a comatose patient, Ben seems to be dreaming about something. Dr. King left the room for a moment and I was finally alone with the patient. I noticed a box of his belongings that was left by the nurse. Had a quick look inside. Wallet, keys, flashlights, and phone. I put on my cloth gloves and held the flashlight. It was somehow still warm. There were faint traces of. The first question that came to my mind was, how does the town become abandoned? What happened to all its inhabitants? A massive exodus wouldn't happen in a short time unless it was due to some disaster or breakdown of public order 